become a missionary of the Baptist Church, asked me to come and ask you all to miss the uh, parking lot behind the old Myers building. It's not handicapped accessible. And they're wanting the council to give us permission to put a ramp on both sides of the street. And we'll put the bill for it. It won't cost the city. Handicapped people will be able to get in and out of the church, in and out of the parking lot, you know, without any accident. Have y'all saw in the front of the church where they did what they asked, what they're asking them? They did a fine job. It really looks nice. I went and looked at it today. Now, the one in front of the church on the road, it's 60 inches wide. No, 63 inches wide. All right. You step back three foot into the sidewalk, taking the curve in the sidewalk there. And we beat it in and got it narrowed down to about 60 inches right at the very back of the car. There. But it, you know, it does a good job. Does the, this, these ramps wouldn't stick out in the road any at all? No, what we, what we started on the side front of the building, back. we went right to the edge of the curve and cut the curve off. So you need a motion to right, right at the sidewalk. It looks really nice. I mean, it doesn't stick out did. at all. It's an excellent I'll make a motion to uh, allow them to fix both sides of the street. Did, what's the, did it have a name? Spring Street. Spring Street runs down. We'll call it Spring Street. Oh, Spring Street's in front. Yeah. No, he's talking about right here on the side. That's, that's Myers that's Street. Street. That's Myers Street. That's Myers Street. Runs this way. What Myers Street. Myers Street. Myers Street. Yeah, both sides. Both yeah. sides. I'll make a motion to allow the two wheelchair ramps. I'll second that. I'll mark that. Second the run.
if the city wanted to make some money, you've got city properties that you've got some parking area, you know, it tells on page, I believe it's two, that you can rent like a, a vendor space if somebody wants to rent that space from you for like $5. Uh, if the church <coughs> over here on Back Street wanted to rent out their parking spaces, and it's usually a 10 by 10 spot, uh, that person, you know, they would, we'll have it on the website, so you there anybody's interested in actually being on the website and being paid to, you know, somebody come in and pay them money to set up on their place, then we will set them up a spot on that website. And the website is on there, you can look at it, you know. And uh, I know we've had problems with yard sales all the time, and I know that's an ordinance that they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so, you know, if, when we, if you all decide to do this, we just need to make it, you know, clear that it's these three days and that that's, you know. <coughs> but, um, I think it's a good thing because we've had people calling us because it's getting close mm -hmm. to springtime. Mm -hmm. People want to clean and they want to set up. So this and this actually is an organized to way to do that. Yeah, sort of like what they do way. in the bigger city. There is certain criteria if I remember because we asked before, you know, there were certain things you couldn't sell, like pornography. Yeah. Uh, and I think, did they put that on there? I gave John from my copy. So. I'm not sure. I, I think, think it was explicit what you couldn't say on the street. Yeah, it I think was. It brings it a whole list on there. Yeah. That they gave it. <coughs> yeah. It brings the community together. Yeah. Too. And I think it does. I've never had a problem with yard sales per se. I mean, yeah, you do get some that's sort of cluttered looking and where they put them, but this is sort of more of an organized. Well, this is organized. Yeah. Yeah. People are welcome it's a special to have in the yard and everything, but now I want us to just come and set up anywhere in town without mm -hmm. an organization. It's not good. City. Well, sometimes they become a permanent business too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yard sale. And it's like yeah. the one day that that lady had her brassiere on top of her car laid up. <laughs> 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 well, that was somebody told me this is not a good turn. Oh, I'm sorry. So, this is a, for yard sales and does it make sales included in all this? I'm not. I think that they did have some people that came and set up crafts and. Did, you know, it's not just yeah. stuff you pull out of your house. It's a lot of your crackers bring their stuff out and they do that for beauty. And they sell it. And uh, I know in, in down in Tennessee, it's just a, uh, this time of the year, it's the yeah. first of May, first of October. Where's the little block in the streets off of Blue Head Block Street? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, I think they went as far as the Putney Trailhead down here last year. And I think he let them set up in his parking lot. Uh, but you don't have to block off the street. It's just any, like, you could, somebody could set up here in this parking lot. They could set up across the street in the parking lot. I'll tell you the high school, the old high school parking lot. I mean, we have some college good spots that. up where the Tri City News used to be. Yes, that would be <laughs> perfect places. And you know, then Rayburn owns that one yeah. piece of property, yeah. so he could rent out those spots. Um, and like I said, if it goes all the way up, then you're going to get more people each spot. year. And it, it may yeah, start out small, you know, air on this end. We don't own So. But uh, what do you need from us to get this started? I didn't know if we need. I, 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 an ordinance. I'm not sure if we need to make a motion to We can make, make a motion for these three yeah. days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do we get the five We don't have to amend anything to do this. No. To I accept your opinion. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Who gets the five dollars rest restoration fee? Whoever. Whoever you the spot. The spot from. They tried to keep it equal so that people didn't try to bid each other. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Also, you can charge every rent you want. Is that what you're Well, saying? they were trying to do that. They're trying to keep, keep it where everybody five. just charges $5. Yeah, that and that way. If you don't, you'll have more. So who they're not arguing off of you. So you pay him $5. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. you, yeah. we can work yeah. with we'll the newspapers, of course, and local advertising yeah. to get that out. But if you're interested in providing, if you own the location and you're interested in renting that out for $5, a 10 by 10 spot, then they can contact us. And, um, so you all are the ones people contact. I'm not sure if they're going to actually be contacting us or at the, the or the, the actual. They're Jim and Preston are the two that are actually over yeah. the whole project. The this was their point. idea for the county because yeah. 2020 is a Harlan County committee. And where are the so dates on this? May the, the first, first, second, or third. Or which is actually takes us right into the Black Bear Festival the next weekend, which is another reason in your packet I just wanted to show you all that the permits have already been uh, assessed for that or received for that. And, uh, yeah. Which we're going to try to start April this year, I hope. There wasn't any rides, so 
Tracy, uh, well, before, you hump, me, before you hop to another thing, does anybody have any more questions about that? Yeah, I do. Make so, okay, on. make this clear to me again. When we say yes, that we're wanting to do this, you get it on this website for us. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So, what do we have to do anything? We'll have to make a motion to approve it. I mean, other, before more. that, so do we have to do anything after we make the motion to say yes? I mean, like if you're you're getting it on there, you're doing what you got oh, yeah. to do to yeah. publicize it. We don't have to do anything. No, you don't have to do anything. Okay. 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 And find spots to charge you. Make a motion so what kind of motion do you want, do you need, exactly? <laughs> well, it would be to allow for the 421 yard 421 sale. 421 yard mm -hmm. sale, and on these days, May the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, 421 yard sale on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. I'll try to do an article in the trust mm -hmm. and he knows explaining what it is and that it gets organized structure, you know, once a year for anybody who wants to see our staff. That kind of thing. I better go that for us. Maybe we could make this more paste. Do what they want. Truly, that's all I have. Well, you can go on to that next thing. I'm sorry. So I just want to take care of one thing at a time. I was just. Uh, Stating that we had got the encroachment permits for the Black Bear Bike Night and the Kentucky Black Bear Festival. And so uh, I'm thinking it's usually 5 o'clock on Thursday. we we'll start shutting that road down and getting vendors all in. And we still need to. Well, now, you need to explain to them when you're going to take down these Christmas decorations. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a few questions about that. Yep. And what we have got. You need to vote on this first. And, That's right. We yeah. Don't we don't do. Do. You want to vote first? Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and vote first. Okay. <laughs> Everybody that's in favor of what now was it about now? Oh, no, this is for the I thought we did that. I thought we did that. I thought we did that. We made a motion. We made a motion. We made a motion. We got too many things going. Oh, you mean okay, let's just take a vote. Okay. Uh, a vote. Too many things going. I'll make a motion. She doesn't need permission for this bike. I don't think you got no, to make permission. We've proved that before, but okay. we do need to make sure that we contact with the police chief over here mm -hmm. and the maintenance department. I'll be able to. So that it's able to be We're secure and uh, cleaned up at the same time when it's everything's done. Yeah. Right. Now go on with Last your... year we hired a crew, and this year I think that the Challenge Academy is going to actually coordinate a group of, of a group to come up, and yeah, they're going to take you. I hope this year. Now yeah. tell everybody about your Christmas party. Oh, yeah. Christmas party. Please. Well, yeah. please. We have been trying to coordinate this stuff. with the city of Lynch, was just how it was put up. Jerry? Of course, with his CDLs, he drives the truck, and this is Jim Raleigh's special truck, the magic yeah. truck from Payton. So Good I truck. told him he gave it to us for Christmas present. I was kidding. But <laughs> I said it's been there since before Christmas. He said as soon as I took it back, I knew he was going to ask for it back to take him down. And I said, yeah, I probably would have. Because the flower board had allowed us, you know, they were working with everybody, trying to get everybody's up, and then their packet truck had torn up since that time. So he, anyway, thankfully, we still have his, but we have been trying to coordinate that, and Jerry drives it, and then Chris uh, Adams from the city of Lynch is the one that gets up there and takes them down, and then Stanley coordinates for, as they do that, the <laughs> they maintenance the, it comes through, and they pick them up, and then they take them over here, and we get them all in the building. So the problem has been coordinating <laughs> everybody's schedule with the way the weather has been. And it's either turned ice or snow or somebody's been off or they've had sewage problems. <coughs> and they were supposed to have done this last week and the, something happened. And then they were supposed to do it Does somebody tomorrow. have to be licensed to uh, take them down? No. Them and something? that was my next suggestion. If this could not be coordinated, I know that I spoke with Carolyn and there was a concern about putting another city worker in the mm -hmm. bucket truck, but I know y'all have done that in the past, so I don't know, let me put it this way, if you want them down, like, down, yeah. <laughs> like all the weather, well, it's yeah. to snow tomorrow, yeah. but after that, <coughs> if you want them down like that, and you had to, I don't know why we do coordinate, because we've only got five weeks. I know. I like, I and, and, five days and Chris said that he would to give him to call him and he would give a day's notice. Well, sometimes that's not convenient. For if he give a day's notice, I can guarantee Jerry would be driving. For okay. And Jerry so did, Jerry's done a wonderful favor. job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> likes you driving that truck, and they did an awesome job. You know, getting. You would never in a minute, wouldn't you, Jerry? Take him down. 
And so, you uh, said yeah. Yeah, I think, I think. It's, it's a good there. solid truck and it's easy yeah. to run. So. He's, he's drove it for him before. Yeah. Oh, he drove it a lot. Yeah, he's he's a good good truck. And then last year, of course, we borrowed Venus. Leon drove it. And it's not yeah. as easy to drive. So that'll get our belt and snow. Well, see, now that's my next question. That's why I sit here thinking that don't take case of the snowman and the tree and the gazebo. What about that? That's a different problem. That's a different problem. Actually, they try to get all those lights in there first. Me so that it actually fits all in that building. We thought we had found another place to store those bigger pieces, and when I guess they were purchasing all those, everybody <coughs> thought, oh, this is great, but nobody thought we were making a mistake. So now we've got so many big pieces that we don't have a whole lot of space, so you have to do it to get it all in there, right? You have to do it precisely. So uh, Stanley was going to just go ahead and get a rollback because they have to be moved with the rollback. And then they take them down to the office, and he was just going to set them off to the side. So now the, I thought the lights would already be, because I thought, well, save the hassle of having to get it, you know, done twice. We'll just wait till they get the lights in, which I thought was going to happen two weeks ago or better, after that big cold spell. Yeah. Did you find a place to store them? Mm -hmm. I, well, the way we've got everything set back in there right now, <laughs> they're going to put me some things on the wall for some of that, and then. You might want to check with the college. They might let you store some stuff in the old part of the high school. I mean, they've got it sealed up good now. For Maybe. Me. I started to say is it locked. Oh, they, yeah. they've welded the doors shut. Oh, all the one. All the one. And there's really nothing from the steel. Last time I was in there, the glass was all broken. Right. Yeah. There was any birds, no uh, sand. Uh, awful. Right. But no, I didn't know that, but that's a good suggestion, too. Yeah, it's, uh, there's nothing really anybody could steal off those. Uh, even the little wire that's on it is no. so thin they couldn't they couldn't burn it to sell for copper. It would no. incinerate. <laughs> would we have easy access to them when we want them to back out of there? Well, I don't know. I'll have to. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. Sure. I'll just have to inquire up, and yeah. ask that question. We can get in that building. That's no problem. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. They've got a key. Yeah. Police department's got a key to it. Sure. Got a key to it. And that they did. They will in the month. The, they made the first floor where if you're a thief, you really going to have to do some climbing if you want to get in. I don't know, they get on top of the roofs and cut holes in roofs. So. I know. Yeah. I know. They ain't going to steal nothing, they got to work with it. Yeah. So are they going to stay up in, in town until we can find some earth storm, or, or can you get them and bring them down here out of the building? No, the, even the snowflake like they'll all fit back it's in the building. It was just those yeah, big pieces the and the snowflake lights right, that right. wouldn't. But truly, if the tourism board doesn't have a problem with them being stored over there and it's secure, I don't see why they wouldn't because it has been questioned that that little white building out beside of there, you know, they're talking about doing something with that through the chamber and making it sort of like what the bulldog room is up in Lynch at that portal. And so if they do that, we also have stuff in there that's going to have to be moved to different. Then that would give us space well, to know, store that. The school yeah. has that storage building right outside that's already yeah. built. The old man house. Mm -hmm. No, oh. it's it's... You remember the where the office board. was? You went back, there used to be a greenhouse up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the concrete building still standing there, and you roll up the door. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So I don't know what's in there. Okay, so that would be very good. She's sitting there. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to Dr. Moore. Yeah. 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 Please. So we need to make, because last year, I don't remember, we made some kind of motion to yes. shut off the street or something for the... I think it's already in the permit. Yeah, it's already taken care of. I just want to make sure yeah. some coordinate with the police okay. and tell them all that and they get it all together. So we appreciate you, Tracy. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Very welcome.